Hello, kindergartners. Welcome to our reading review um, video today, our reading review lesson. Let's go ahead and get started. So I am going to say some pieces of a word, and I want you to blend that word back together to tell me what word it is. And I'm going to give you a little hint. All the words are on this picture right here. Are you ready? So I have d og dog. Yes, do you see a dog? What sound do you hear at the beginning of dog? D. That is the letter D. I'm going to write a letter D, and I'll write a lowercase one too for d og. Okay, what about p egg? Pig. Yes, there is a pig right there. What sound do you hear at the beginning of pig? P. And what letter makes the p sound? The letter P. Yes, P. I'll write a lowercase and uppercase. Okay, what about d uck? Duck. Yes, duck. Do you see a duck? I do as well. What sound do you hear at the beginning of duck? D. And what letter makes the d sound? D. So let's write the letter D. Uppercase and lowercase. Okay, what about k at? Cat. Yes, cat. What letter or what sound do you hear at the beginning of cat? K. And that is made by the letter C. So I'm going to write a letter C and a lowercase c. What about the word cow? Cow, yes, cow. Do you see a cow? I see one too. What sound do you hear at the beginning of cow? K. And that is made by the letter C. I'm going to write it over here so that you can still see it. C. Okay, oh, we have one more animal. What um, word is mm, Mouse. Mouse, yes. And what sound do you hear at the beginning of mouse? Mmm, yes, the mouse is way down here and he's too little to write on, so I'm going to write above him. And that is uppercase M and lowercase M for mmm, mouse, mouse. All right, I'm going to erase that and turn the page. We have some more review to do. My friends, what word is this sight word right here? It is W E we. That's right. W E we. Let's read this sentence. If you see the sight word we, will you read it with me? Great. Our cat purrs when we pet her. Our cat purrs when we pet her. Did you see the sight word we? I did too. Right here. Let's read the sentence one more time and you read we with me. Our cat purrs when we pet her. Yes, who are they talking about? Who is the we? The family, yes, the family could be petting her, or the mom and the daughter are petting her. They are we. Good job, kindergartners. That is our sight word, we. All right, my friends, now we have to go over. We have a new letter this week. It is the letter T, the letter T. What sound does the letter T make? T, T. Good, kindergarten. Okay, the letter T makes the T sound, we need to figure out where the letter T is. So what is this? Fish. What sound do you hear at the beginning of fish? Is that the letter T? Does it say T? -t? No, it doesn't. So I'm just going to exit out. Okay. What about, this is a T -op. top. What sound do you hear at the beginning of top? That is the letter T, 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 e. So let's write E for t, top. Down here is a tie. What sound do you hear at the beginning of tie? T. And what letter makes that sound? 
T, that's right. So let's write the letter T. Okay, we're gonna move up here. This is a toothbrush. What sound do you hear at the beginning of toothbrush? T. And what letter makes the T sound? The letter T, that's right, T, good job. Okay, now we have a doll. What sound do you hear at the beginning of doll? D. Does that make the t sound for T? No, it doesn't. Let's put an X through it. All right, now down here at the bottom, we have a turtle. What sound do you hear at the beginning of turtle? T. t. Yes, and what makes the t sound? The letter T. Good, kindergartners. Oh, we have a toothbrush, top, tie, and turtle. Good work. I'm going to erase and we'll go to the next one. So this week we talked in our book about communication and how things communicate. And we looked at some a book that had some animals in it and how they communicated. Remember, what does the cat say to communicate? It purrs or it says meow. What about a duck? Quack, quack. And what about a coyote? How? Yes, but how do people communicate? We talk and we use our words. That's right. That's how we communicate. That's how we tell someone something and let them know what we need. Now, this one is using our senses. And we need to talk about... We are going to read each sentence and we need to find the missing word, the missing word. So if we have a dog, it says the dog makes a blank sound. Hmm. Would the dog make a quiet sound or a loud sound? A loud sound. That's right. Now, sounds. Remember last week we talked about our senses. What do we use to listen to sounds? Our ears, that's right. So read this with me. It says, the dog makes a loud sound. We're using our ears to hear the dog. This one says, the bird has something feathers. What do bird's feathers feel like? They're soft. Yes, they are soft. So let's write soft. The bird has soft feathers. Very nice. Now, what do we use to know that the bird is soft? What do we need? Well, we need to touch it with our fingers. That is one of our five senses, touching with our fingers. Good job. The kitten's claws feel <gasps> sharp. I would say they feel very sharp. Yes, claws feel sharp. How would we feel the kitten's claws? They would put it in our skin, it would feel, it would be touching again. That is our sense of touch. Now this last one, do you know what animal this is? A skunk, you are right. It says the skunk smells good or bad? Bad, of course the skunk smells bad. The skunk smells so bad. Oh, what do we use to smell? Our nose, that is right, kindergartners. That is one of our five senses. Do you remember our five senses? Our ears, hear. Our eyes, see. Our nose, smells. Our mouth or tongue, tastes. And our hands, touch. Those are our five senses. Now, since we did that, we need to match up these words, these sense words, with their picture over here. So let me read the words to you. We have smelly, huge, loud, fluffy, tasty. So which animal? Oh, and then we have an elephant, a skunk, a mouse, a lion, and a cat. Which animal would be smelly? Yes, the skunk, you're right. Which animal would be huge? Huge means really big. The elephant, good. 
which animal would be loud? The lion would roar very loud. You are right. Which animal is fluffy? The cat is very fluffy. And then this one says, which one is tasty? Now, this isn't the animal in the picture. This is some food that the animal has in the picture. So which animal is tasting something? The mouse is eating the cheese and thinks, hmm, that cheese is tasty. Good job, kindergartners. We are done with our flip book. I am so proud of you for that review. Now I have a book to read for you. So here is our book for today. And we're just gonna look at it. It's gonna talk about some animals. I just gotta get to the page, there we go. So this is the Fort Worth Zoo. Fort Worth is a city in Texas and Texas is a state. And a zoo is a place where animals live and they take care of them. And it says the Fort Worth Zoo. And it says, we love the Fort Worth Zoo. Come see the parrot. Look at its bright colors. What colors are the parrot? What colors do you see? Green and red and white and black and even some blue on its wings. Ooh, this is a bear. It says, we can see the sun bears scratch. They are the smallest kind of bears. See the rhino eating hay? You'll never get closer to one. Rhinoceroses live in Africa. So unless you go to Africa, you'll never get closer to one than in a zoo. Look at all the penguins. Watch them flap their fins. Ooh, penguins are so cute. Meet some Komodo dragons. They are the largest lizards on earth. Wow. And lastly, do you want to see some snakes? You can see different animals at the zoo. Yeah, how do you think the Let's see, the parrot communicates with its other parrot friends. It's a squawk, squawk, squawk. Yeah, what about a bear? How would a bear communicate? Maybe it would growl. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how a rhinoceros communicates. Do you know how one communicates? Maybe they kind of snort like a pig or growl, I'm not sure. And ooh, um, dragons or lizards, I know that they stick out their tongues and kind of hiss a little bit. And then snakes do the same thing. All right, my kindergarten friends, thank you for coming to the reading review with me. It was so nice to see your faces and I'll see you next time. Bye.